welcome back to our YouTube channel. Simi, say hey, good morning. What? Anyways, we are wide awake pretty early this morning. We're getting going pretty early this morning. I'm just still working on my coffee. And we are going to decorate for fall today, which is super exciting. It's a good ways into September, so it's, it's definitely due time. It's what? My favorite part. Favorite part? I think Christmas is your favorite part. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to go get the tote out of the garage loft. And yeah. then we're going to probably get something to eat before we get started decorating. Are you going to put the pumpkins out? And decorate. What do you think of our candle? Does it smell really good? Our fall candle. Anyways, he is happy this morning. Very chippa and hyper. My contract. Mm -hmm. Your race contract. Ah, that's correct. All right, so I have the toe inside. I'm gonna start decorating soon. I just want to pick up the house a little bit. Here are some decorations that I've collected over the years. There's some really cute pieces I'm really excited to put up in my new fifth wheel here. So let's get started. What? It looks beautiful. Oh, thank you, bud. You see everything over here? Look at this picture view. We gotta figure out where to put all this stuff right here. All the way. That big oh, pumpkin look. and all this stuff. You can put that in a special place. How long did you put that thing? What? Big bad spot. <laughs> What a great spot for decor, Simeon. Mom, help me. Is this where you want it? No. Okay, that's where Simeon wants his pumpkin. All right, you guys, so these little wreaths right here, I'm gonna put there and hang. I have some pretty ribbon, like a velvelore like ribbon to go with those.
break. Hope you're enjoying the shots of Cheyenne's decorations. Thought I would do a couple of uh, different variations of the same shots. Basically, I'm going to I'm going to close down the blinds. So a lot of what we're seeing right now is all of these decorations in natural lighting, the lighting that's coming through the windows. That obviously has its own tone, its own look. And it's a quick tip for everybody. It's a great tip actually because lighting is everything in photography and videography. And if you're ever trying to take a picture for Instagram or Facebook or YouTube, video, whatever it may be, and your lighting is bad, it doesn't matter if you have the best camera with the best lens and the best equipment available, the shot's going to look pretty poor. And also, uh, the tone of the, of the photo changes with lighting. So if you're looking for a different look, a different tone, a different feel, change up your lighting. Or, for us, what we could do is actually wait till nighttime. It'd have a different look, would it turn on lights, the whole thing. So I just wanted to throw that tip in. We don't always talk about the video process, but this is part of our video process. We think about the lighting and when we're taking photos. We think about the lighting, we think about how the lighting is going to hit the subject. All of that's important and uh, there's plenty of videos on YouTube explaining that more in detail. I'm not trying to do a comprehensive. I just want to make that tip so that you'll be aware of it and then if you want to explore that further, uh, take the time to uh, research. I'm going to lower the blinds, I'm going to change up the look in here and I'm going to retake it, see if you see the difference. Okay everybody, this is with the blinds all down and these blinds are not blackout shades. These actually let light in, but obviously you can't see what's behind the blind. Um, we're actually going to be updating these blinds with blackout shades and they're going to be of a different color. They're going to be dark gray. We're going to show you that when that happens. We've actually done a whole lot in this house that we've actually not talked about. For example, we painted the walls a very soft white. And here's a little demonstration of that. But before we get to that, let me show you something else we have already done. And that is change our valances from their original multicolored paisley look to this beautiful plain white look and back to the painting we are painting here in one of our slide outs where the dining table and the sofa chair exists it really turned out nice however it was a tedious task so I forewarn you if this is something you're interested in doing um, you probably know about this where we added this shiplap uh, wallpaper back here really added a lot of dimension and depth and color but yeah we actually painted the walls uh, white and I thought that I would do a whole video on that and uh, yeah I've really never got to it guys but we're getting to it today and I'm so glad that I'm able to show this to you this is old footage at this point probably six months ago but uh, never too late to show you a good project and this was certainly a good project but not only did we do that, but let me turn this off here. I actually, turn this light on. I actually replaced this light. Replaced this light. <laughs> Let's see. I changed up the uh, covers for these lights. I replaced these lights. These are beautiful, aren't they? We put a brand new sofa and chair in. These are RV specific and uh, they've been fantastic. They've held up well. On to a final project that I'd like to mention to all of you today. You may think that I'm just showing you waxing our fifth wheel, but actually I want you to take a look at the window at the door. Yep, that right there. You see that fade around the window itself, the trim? I replaced this window, which is one of my favorite upgrades that we've made to the whole entire fifth wheel. It is a clear window. It's tinted like the other windows. The black trim matches the other windows. So it was just a massive, massive upgrade. Anyway, back to the major point at hand. I'm gonna turn on some lights. So when warm light hits, it instantly turns it warm. You saw that, I'm sure. Let's turn on this guy. That light right up there. Let's turn that on. We got this clock in and uh, we're a little iffy on it because it's a little less gray than we thought and a little more blue is open for more gray. Anyway, let's turn this light on here. All right. 
and while we're at it we might as well turn on all of the lights so let's turn on these little guys right there and right there under the cabinets and there now I'm gonna go ahead turn on these lamps and this up here right there okay and then turn on this lamp this is this is sort of like a tour of our RV all in one this is pretty great all right and turning on that lamp so you see how different that is let me show you this let me show you the before see that's quite a bit of difference there how about that guys the coolness of your light does have an effect on your shot of course but enough of that let's show you around show you all Cheyenne's decorations aren't they pretty hey little magnolia turned one we got photos this picture is very near and dear to Cheyenne and I this is before magnolia of course and we were in North Conway and uh, we were riding down the road in the White Mountains and just pulled off the side of the road and uh, just took this photo didn't think much about it turned out to be one of our favorites so <laughs> you never know folks you never know all right so there you go everybody uh, sweeping around here Right. All right, let's turn these lights on. See, I went ahead and painted up in here as well. I painted in the bathroom. Boy, it looks good in here too. And see the shiplap. We put the same. We put the same shiplap in the living room back here behind the toilet. And uh, one of the upgrades that we made. You see this gray blind? We added that and we're going to do something similar all the way around except this is just a pull down shade. We're actually going to put double insulated blinds in all the way around the RV except for here. This is new. I don't know if we ever showed that to you all. New decorations right here folks. So when we when we got the RV this was lower not as nice so we ended up replacing this very quickly because it gave us more space here right and it's a pretty big sink actually so show you some of this science folding some towels over here we got the washer and dryer going over in here we absolutely love the fact that we can have a washer and a dryer it's an amazing upgrade when you have two as opposed to just one unit well anyway this is our bedspread and all of that Cheyenne should be the one telling you about this. <laughs> Some more decorations. I could close that blind. I didn't close that window. So you can see where we painted on along, along the walls. We haven't painted this, this curve in there. Even though I did paint in the hall, um, I closed the bathroom door. Even though I painted in the hall here and over there, we've sort of not touched this because this is a heavy traffic area. And if I had painted this, it would have gotten all marked up. So I'm not quite sure if we'll do anything to this actually. Probably leave it for the next owner to decide what they want to do. All right, guys. You got more than decorations today. You got a full blown tour of the RV all over again. <laughs> So, there you go. How could I forget? How could I forget some of the things that we've done out here? So we got rid of our petunias and we of course put the famous mums in. And uh, I absolutely love the way they came out. They look so gorgeous. Man, so pretty. I love mums. They're some of my all time favorites look at these look at that y'all look at all that color wow these are really starting to come in these haven't really come in very well yet but look at the beautiful pumpkins that was Cheyenne's idea it was a great idea wasn't it all right come over here a few more pumpkins fix this pillow a couple more pumpkins 
and this one's going to be purple when it finally comes in. That's going to be beautiful. Excited for that. There's the look. Not bad, huh? So, there you go guys. Hope you enjoyed that little tour. And I wasn't expecting to do all of that, but it just happened. So I hope you enjoyed all of the extra information that sometimes we just don't share. And uh, yeah, we are so glad you all are there watching and enjoying our videos. And uh, we've got a lot planned in the future. We've got a lot to talk about. I'm gonna let Cheyenne break a lot of the news, a lot of our new news to you. Stick around, it will happen. She will share it. <laughs> and uh, we've got a lot of things coming up and it's gonna be exciting. Thank you.